Alright, everybody, we're back here. With some more My Player. Okay, so who are we facing here? I think I just missed it. <laughs> Alright, this came off uh, another victory on with my team, the, the Ultimate Team. Which actually, the guy was pretty much beating me. He was beating me by 10 points, I believe. <laughs> like, I still have all my. 60 overall guys and then he had guys like Eric Gordon and Scotty Pippen and Tony Parker and Kevin Durant and that So he was beating me by 10 points, but he quit. I don't know if it was the connection or what but I got the win <laughs> So it's kind of like a super lucky win because I was probably gonna lose that match <laughs> Pretty interesting <laughs> All right. So I got two wins now over teams that had like gold players. With all my my bronze guys. Okay, let's get going. Greetings everyone. 2K Sports brings you the NBA. This is Kevin Harlan. I'm joined by Clark Kellogg. And all right, Detroit Pistons. We get set to bring you all the action. Pass. So starting fives for our game. Here are tonight's starting lineups. Paul Millsap, so Schroeder, right Williams. And Jennings is a tremendously quick player. All right. Let's go physically dominant. on the bench, right? Let's start off. So fast and quick. That chance Phillips on the bench over there. All right, here we go. I need you to focus on taking care of the ball. I don't want to see another turnover the rest of this quitter. Stucky dishes to Monroe. All sorts of time. Off the left rim and up. Bad block attempt. Aw, uh, at least he didn't make it. Monroe to a long-term deal, but he said that he would like to wait until after his fourth season before putting ink to paper. Nice shot. to do that. He's a promising young player. They really can't allow him too many open looks like that. I mean, that's just inviting trouble. God dang it, I was moving slow. I couldn't have dreamt of a much better start than what they've had here today. Everything's worked, especially offensively, and what a lead they have already to show for. The Hawks trail by 10. And Greg Monroe, the number seven pick back in 2010. You redo that draft, he could have been the top uh, top pick, number two, number three, right in that area. Yeah, great pickup for Detroit. I mean, you think about what he does for this team. Had a triple double. Piston uh, uh, player, in fact, in eight years to do that. So he, I think he's got the potential to be a 20 and 10 guy with great assists for a long time. Yeah, the right dang, I'm not doing down. very good right no now. Clearly a foul. Nothing to argue about there. For Detroit, they have shot 80% from the lines tonight, going four to five so far. You know, if you're not a big strong guard in the NBA, it can be tough going in the paint. But for Brandon Jennings, you know, he's got that floater in the lane, and that's what's allowed him, despite his slight frame, to be able to score in the paint. Bad call for pass. Williams but the ball. Phillips picks him up defensively. There's the three. Ah. Drummond with the rebound. Drummond's got his fifth rebound in this one. Stolen by Schroeder. Oh, and a fast break for Atlanta. Plays nice. it in off the breakaway. That's really how they're going to get back into this game, trim the lead. I mean, play tough defense, force some turnovers, and then push it to the other end. And that's when a team really has the best chance to run after a steal, obviously. So the defense is going to be critical for them right now. Jennings kicks to Drummond. And that one's Dang. good. Drummond's got six. And you know, going back to Jennings, so fast, incredibly explosive. He can really park it into the lane. Yeah, but you know, he struggled finishing at the rim. Some of that because of his size. Not really a physically imposing guy. All right. I think that Chris Bosch's foul shot. NBA shot blockers or something that he has to continue to develop. There you go. And let's nice. take a moment here to get your guys' take on scoring so far for the Pistons. And right from the start, oh, too late. they're determined to establish a presence in the paint. They've gotten their fair share of points off turnovers so far tonight, too. Looking at who's out there now for the Hawks. Scotty's checked in for Horford. Jenkins comes in for Williams. And it's Cunningham in for Schroeder. That was the third straight high percentage look this defense has allowed. I mean, these defenders have got to start bumping bodies in the paint. Be more physical. Be more aggressive. Nice. I agree, Clark, but it doesn't look like they have the will to do that at this moment. They are really doing a nice job establishing a presence inside early. 
That's going to open things up for them on the perimeter going forward, Clark. Bynum, the pass to Singler. Right wing. Tries to keep it alive. Get it, yes! Here is Cunningham. The pass to Money. 55 seconds left in the first quarter. Bank shot, no good. I'm trying not to get the stupid three seconds in the box penalty. And Steve, I don't think there's any question which team came out with more energy and enthusiasm. God damn it. Uh, I gotta pause this. His first basket of the night. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with the way they work down low. Well, it's become one of the stories of the first half, Clark. Just piling up points in the paint. Nice ball movement here by Atlanta. And he was camped in the lane there and he gets the <laughs> Oh my god, I hate that penalty! I hate the foul so much! I hate it! Freaking foul sucks. Pistons leading by 12. Two seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. He dishes it to Villanueva. Uses the glass. Oh my god, lead. dude. And the Pistons lead by 14. I love the aggressiveness with their approach. Pounding the ball inside, and it's working. They are owning this game early. They are constantly finding lanes to the basket. Oh my god, I miss it? Influence the shot and then got back and cleaned the glass. And an overpowering for Friday, November 23rd. Well, not exactly a close game so far, but as the second quarter starts here, plenty of time for a comeback. And Stephen Clark Piston's pretty much in control here. And a good start for this club. I like the way they played together, really moved the ball and did a nice job offensively. Yeah, excellent ball movement, and it's paid off on the scoreboard, too. And now, brought to you by Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset our lineups. On the floor for Detroit, they've got Kyle Singler. Craig Monroe is up there with Yurebko. That's Bynum, and it's Stuckey in at the shooting guard position. Six to shoot. Here is Cunningham. He's guarded by Bynum. Here's Money. Out to the wing. Kicks to Cunningham. Down low. That one's good. And the piston is cut down now to just 12 points with the basket for money. Those are the kind of nice inside looks they've gotten in the first half here. And I think they should really continue to work it down low, Clark. That's really going to free up the rest of their offense. And Doris Burke has a report for us from the sideline. Hi, gentlemen. Well, Josh Smith with over four assists per game last season, good for first among power forwards. Smith said, quote, I like passing the basketball. People want to get rewarded. Guys, Smith is such a versatile big man. No surprise nice. to see him richly rewarded with his new contract this season. And Doris, with his great passing, he can punish teams who might double team. Good stuff. Thank you. Second quarter of action, about a minute and a half played. A jump hook and God dang it. puts it in. Monroe's got his third bucket of the night. And while we can now, let's check in on the top scoring rookies in the NBA. Are you looking money? Second in the league, having an excellent season. Well, he was one of those players who right. coming well, into the go. league, you wondered how his talent would translate to the NBA game. Well, I'd say the transition has gone pretty well. No doubt about that, Steve. I mean, he's looked comfortable and confident since the first day he stepped onto an NBA court. Um, he's had some big games for him. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the stripe for two. Well, he's a scary guy to go up against just because of how physical he is. He intimidates uh. Uh, He's going to punish you inside, and, and you have to be ready physically to play against this guy. There when you watch him, Steve, you can see how quickly one. he looks to take his shot when he's on the receiving end of a pass and how successful he is when he does take the shot. This guy is a catch, fire, and hit guy. Here's what Atlanta's going with right now. Al Horford, he's checked in for Brand. 
Williams comes in for Jenkins. Yes. And it's Schroeder in for Cunningham. He's handled it. Will take possession. Let's take a look now at some of the numbers for Williams. He's averaging 19 points a game, four assists, and three rebounds. That's pretty good numbers, I think, guys, when you look overall at his contributions. Yeah, and he's always looking to raise yeah, his game. Bench. And that's for the nope. Here is Cunningham, and Bynum pulls it down. Usually, if he gets to the rim, he's converting it into points. Ah, Williams caught up. Defense stood tall there. Had some tenacity inside, battling for the second chance points. Picked off in midair. Here's Cunningham, and he dunks it down. And they're making this a game here, putting together a nice run. Making it a game? How about anybody's game? I mean, they've caught fire, and it's a toss-up right now, guys. Tries from 10. Monroe's ah. shot is good. Monroe's got eight. Here is Cunningham. With one on the clock. Ah. Hit the clock. And a tight game here as we end the first half. Josh, what do you need to do in the second half? Hello, listen to him. By sprint. And it's been great bask the Sprint's halftime report, presented by Sprint. And we welcome you back with the Vista over downtown Detroit. Hmm. Down by two. No. Okay. And Josh Smith. Stucky outside. Dishes it to Drummond. The feed to Smith. Out to the right wing. Stolen by Schroeder. Oh, yeah, yeah. Fast break. The Hawks. Jenkins with the ball. On the court for Atlanta. Money. He's in a power forward. Schroeder is out there with John Jenkins. Then there's Horford. <coughs> and it's Millsap sure. at the small forward. The Hawks made the playoffs again, but ended up losing in the first round to the Pacers in six games. Dropped the first two in Indiana. Won the next two in Atlanta, but it all ended when the Pacers got them in game six. Stucky left side. All alone. Dang it. That falls. Great assist by Brandon Jennings. Jennings has got six assists in the game. Schroeder passes to Money. Into Millsap. Nice. Good finish at the rack off the slick feed. Millsap's got the game tied up here for Atlanta. Well, and for the Hawks, it's been six consecutive seasons with basically this group. Certainly, Joe Johnson left as a free agent to Brooklyn. But, Steve, they have yet to get past the second round in any of those playoff runs. I think that's why they decided to part ways with Josh Smith uh, and, and originally with Joe Johnson two seasons ago just to, to make that next step, to start fresh. And I miss it. Here. Yes, uh, but I think that the future does look bright. Damari Carroll's checked in for Atlanta. You know, the Pistons are really still a young team learning how to win in the league, but they made some strides last year because they started to win more consistently at home. And you could actually see the team becoming more consistent as the season went on. Drummond sets the screen for Bynum. Into Smith. It's tipped. Millsap dishes to Corver. Here's Cunningham. Another nice. three for Atlanta. And Clark, you talked about the Pistons last year at home. 18 of the team's 29 wins came right here, Steve, in Auburn Hill. Well, it'll take baby steps for this team to improve year to year. And obviously, making that big step oh. signing Josh Smith over the summer but to go along with that young talent, bringing back Chauncey Billups. I think the Pistons are, are really looking to make a move here, and it's going to be a fun team to watch this season. Corver kicks to Carroll. Pass to Cunningham. Shot clock at five. Count that one. There we go. Cunningham's got the lead up to two now for the Hawks. The defender a little hesitant to off the resistance as he bursts to the hoop. Not sure if they're aware of the two-for-one opportunity they have. Well, they need to be. 
Jennings drives in, rejected by Corbin. In this quarter, he's really been off the mark. He just looks a little bit unsettled. Carroll gets a screen from Milson. Ah, no dang it. From I like the work there, contesting that shot that looked like it was going to be easy, but they forced the miss. You know what? He got it in close, but couldn't finish in traffic. The shot's good from Bynum. Boy, the D has to show a little more fight on the interior than they did on that trip. They've got a battle inside. Well, this game has been tough, Clark. I mean, they're getting after it. And nice. They're starting to run a little bit low on energy, possibly. And another three-pointer to their second half total. Yeah, they caught that long-range bug at halftime, and it's been palms away. And now we're winning now. How about that? NBA <laughs> action. Shark. Alright, let's go. And Steve, we've got a moment here to go to our State Farm assist of the game coming on some very clever point guard play. Well, he mans that position for a reason. You gotta be Kevin smarter out there with your shot selection. I don't want to so take well, another bad shot. Right. Really gets this offense into a nice rhythm. Delivering the pass important, but but putting the pass in the right place for a shooter is, as you well know, you. Yeah, no question. Chauncey Billups out there with Bynum, and it's Smith in at the ah. Oh. That's the five on the four Come for the Pistons. On. You know, it's really going to be all about hard work from this point on. And they worked hard to create that high-quality shot right there. Yeah, and that's their goal down the stretch. Continue to, to find those close-range shots. Here's Schroeder. He's guarded by Bynum. And there's the bucket from Schroeder. Yes. Schroeder's got the lead back up to three now for the Hawks. And, well, Detroit shooting about 59% from the floor offensively. They've been running without a hitch. Bynum kicks to Billups. Smith outside. And Brand with the block. Just over a minute played here in the fourth. Schroeder passes to Williams. Here's Schroeder, covered by Smith. Plenty of nice. daylight on that shot. Now it's a five-point Hawks lead. And look at how the hustle game has been going for the Hawks. Their defense has been outstanding, Kevin. Closing out on shots, blocking a lot of them as well. You know, one other area they're doing well in is steals. I mean, they've knocked the ball loose a number of times and been able to track it down after the fact. One roll. <laughs> it's good. I love the way he fought for that putback. You know, he's willing to put in a lot of hard work in this game, no doubt about that. Williams against Phillips. And there's a whistle that goes against Greg Monroe. That's his first foul. I like the call. I thought the defense was moving there. Yeah, I think he slid underneath. Good blocking call that trip. Al Horford, he's checked in for Elton Brand. Back to Horford. It's Williams with the drive. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. Well, Lewis Williams has two things working for him on the offensive end. First, he is lightning fast. And secondly, he shoots the ball so well that he's able to use it a great pump nice. fix. And he really keeps defenders guessing. Going back to Williams, more turnover prone last season than we're used to seeing. Yeah, that's normally a strength of his, Kevin. High volume offense without turning it over. Of course, he changed teams, so perhaps adjusting to the new system made him a little more mistake prone. Monroe. Ah, jeez. Monroe's got 12 points in just the second half. You know, of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is major smash mouth basketball, guys. Love it. Old school. Just physical play in the paint. Dominate. Money passes to Jenkins. Stucky against Williams. From the baseline. And nice. He nails it. A good shot. Williams has got the lead up to five now for Atlanta. Boy, the deeper we get into this game, the more offense we're seeing. And that goes for both teams, Steve. Everybody firing on all cylinders right now. Phillips kicks to Drummond. Smith outside. Ah. In low to Monroe. Horford with the block. The Atlanta Hawks coming to this one after the win against the Detroit Pistons. 
Second shot opportunity, and it's good on the way up. All right. That was a <laughs> seven-point Hawks lead. The Pistons have gone three of eight here in the fourth quarter. Kicks to Smith. Atlanta with the rebound. Williams has got three rebounds now in this one. The Celtics will be coming into town for the next game. That'll be the first of two straight at home. Here's Money. And lots of contact there. Missing the shot. He'll shoot two. That one on Monroe. Thank you, man. Last season, the Hawks were a solid team on the road. Nothing spectacular. Really what you'd expect from a three seed in the East. End of the year. 22 road record. Uh, not bad. And the Hawks making a change here. Elzap's checked in. You don't see him have too many of those trips to the line. Uh. It will go down, and the Hawks lead is cut down to just four points in the bucket from Billings. Tell you what, they're going to have a hard time climbing back into the game if they're going to continue to play defense like that. Williams for three. Can't hit. And it's Detroit the other way. Clark, you said it about the Hawks last year, 19 and 22 on the road. You really need to hover around. God dang it. Do you think, Steve, to position yourself for the playoffs? No question. As long as you can control your home court uh, and get a good record there, then 500 on the road is just fine. But this is a Hawks team that's looking to take the next step, Kevin, to, to really become an elite. They've been kind of stuck in the middle for a while now. This is it to money. Shot clock at six. And Finally, that one made something. The offensive execution <clears throat> really well done. They got the ball in tight for the high percentage shot. Now here's Billups. He feeds it to Smith. Cannot hit. Nice defense for money. You know, not only is the game neck and neck and tight, but the rebounding battle is too. Extremely close on the board. Yeah, both teams have really. Oh good my God, man! Down low. Shot from the wing, and it's wide right. It's off the rim. Atlanta leading by four. He kicks it to Williams. Misses in close. Detroit's gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. Phillips dishes to Monroe. Smith the pass to Phillips. Yes, and it's Smith with the assist that time. Smith's got three assists in the game. A moment to check in with Doris Burke. Doris? I was able to listen in on what Mike Budenholzer had to say to his team. It's been a hard-fought game, and he just wanted to give his guys a chance to catch their breath, saying, listen, we're right there. Let's make a push right here. Put some pressure on them. Let's go. What the freak? Come on. Here from the doors. Stucky into the lane. Now here's Jennings. Defense right on him. Out to Stucky. Pass to Monroe. Back to Stucky. To tie it up. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up. And two shots coming up. What a tremendous game for Monroe. 22 points and the two nice steals as well. This is some performance we're witnessing out of him. This is a night to remember for sure, guys. He's able to hit the second one, and that narrows the gap to one. 141 left in the game. Williams against Stucky. Here's Schroeder. Get out of my way, man. Shoot from 12. And he banks that There you go. Home. And the Hawks lead by three. And he's got a quick trigger from that range when he senses that the defense is backed off. The drive by Jennings. And Drummond gets to Jennings. Side Jennings. Ah. In off the glass. What's going on defensively? There a lack of focus, no concentration. Too easy. Hawks have gotten into a pretty good groove, going six of ten here in the final quarter. Let's find out what Doris Burke is. Ah oh, man. He was able to listen in on what Mike Budenholzer had to say to his team. He focused on their offense and said to his guys, "Make the extra pass. Don't try to play hero ball and do it by yourself. That ends up leading to bad shots." Go, 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 go! They should be playing. 
He wants them playing it safe, not trying to make plays that could leave them exposed. Guys, we'll yes. see how coach's direction pays off as this one winds down. Kevin? Thanks again, Doris. Oh, what a basket in at the perfect time. How about the courage and backbone of this guy? Wow. And it's Drummond missing. Man, excellent interior defense there. Good rotation. No doubt about it, Steve. He's a real presence inside. Takes up a lot of space. That's right. No other option but to foul and hope for some misses. Yep, you got to extend the game here. Try to keep that clock from moving. And he misses the first one. Boy, he wanted that one to fall. And he does get the second one. And that gives them a four-point cushion. Power timeout called by Detroit. They're trailing by four. 19 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. What do you think, guys? And obviously time is the big factor here because they need to get points fast and then go for the score. Oh, I got a defensive rebound for that. <laughs> Hard as it is, you just have to hope the guy you send to the line doesn't convert. Good on the first, and that puts them up by five. <laughs> and so nice. both free throws are good, and it's a six-point ball game. No mistakes there. I think you can close the book on this one, guys. It's done. Here's Stucky. Buries it Oh, nice. <laughs> what the frick? Where did he do that? <laughs> and there's the intentional foul. No choice but to stop the clock here. Nice. That's the first. That gives them a four-point cushion. So nice. There we go. Are good, and it's a five-point game. Here's Jennings. All right, all right, we got a good victory here. Solid win, Clark. Yeah, it was, and I think it came down to Will. Now we got this one. Wow, had a very, I guess, average game. Thank you, Kevin. Paul, what was this team's attitude coming into tonight's game? Well, we knew coming in. That they was going to be aggressive on the defensive end. And, you know, um, the game got a little sloppy at times. You know, but we stuck with it, ran our stuff, and won the game. Paul, thank you. Right. Kevin, over to you. Yep, fair. Teammate grade of 100. Neither dynamic goal. Player lounge. All right. So what do we got here? There you are, Rook. I got a little something, something for you. You gonna love this? Now what? Oh man. Yeah. See this? Great news. It's yours to keep for the rest of the season. And not only that, but you get to wear it every time you make a public appearance. No, wait, wait, wait. Let me rephrase that. You don't get to wear it. You have to wear that. Dude, you can't be serious. You uh, expect me to wear that in public? Why don't I stick it up your anus, Elton Brand? How do you like that? <laughs> Everywhere you go. Time to flush it down the toilet. Nope. You tripping. Ain't no way I'm wearing that thing. Hey, man, that ain't a suggestion. It's your duty as a rookie on this team. Here you go. Take it. Nah, you can keep it. You're making the wrong choice, bro. This ain't the way to show your teammates you really want to be a part hey, of this don't team. Don't get it twisted. I want to be a part of this team, and I'll do everything I can on the court to make that happen. But when it comes to this nonsense, that's where I draw the line. Man. Yo, I'm a big boy. I, I can take care of myself. Well, I'll be taking over Elton Brand's spot. I wonder how you'll feel about that. So, the problems I had during that game was like, what, making shots and traffic and that? Let's see. We'll buff this up. 
We'll do plus nine shooting traffic. Okay. 